Today, we're diving into the latest developments surrounding an MC. We've encountered a peculiar situation where an MC's volume is reported to be an astronomical 1.32 billion. This has raised a lot of eyebrows and sparked discussions, especially when comparing it to the actual trading volume of 18.416 million on TradingView. What's causing this discrepancy? Let's explore. Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. First, let's address the source of this information. Interactive Brokers Ipker has reported this massive volume, and we need to consider the context here. Recently, Ipker has been in the spotlight due to their involvement in swap contracts, which are suspected to exceed their capital limits. This situation raises questions about their financial stability and the accuracy of their reported data. Swap contracts are financial agreements that can become toxic and overleveraged, putting firms at risk. AMK and GameStop GME have been at the center of this issue, causing significant strain on firms holding these positions. The reported 1.32 billion volume might be an error linked to these problematic swap contracts. When firms struggle with these contracts, we often see glitches in reported data, including volume, price, and market cap. Another factor to consider is the inclusion of synthetic shares in the reported volume. These are shares that are created through complex financial instruments and do not represent actual ownership in the company. These synthetic shares can inflate the reported volume leading to discrepancies like the one we're seeing with AMC. It's also possible that hidden volumes, traded off exchange or between firms, contribute to this anomaly. Every time we see a glitch like this with AMC, it's often because the stock is exerting pressure on brokers and short sellers. The market manipulation and the sheer volume of synthetic shares create a challenging environment for these entities. The current situation with IBCR is a prime example of this. As their recent financial struggles and need for swap relief indicate, they are feeling the heat from their positions in AMC. A tweet by Dade Murphy highlighted an interesting point. The NYSE order imbalance for AMC shows a significant buy side imbalance. Despite the reported volume of 1.32 billion, the actual buy orders are much lower, around 103,000 shares. This suggests that the real buy volume is being suppressed, possibly by algorithms attempting to cover up the true demand for AMC shares. On TradingView, AMC is flagged as a strong buy, supported by moving average cross screeners. This bullish sentiment from analysts and institutions indicates a positive outlook for AMC. They believe in its long-term potential and are willing to invest, which contrasts sharply with the negative media coverage advising against buying AMC. This conflict of interest further complicates the narrative around AMC. When AMC's price increases, even by small increments, it adds pressure on short sellers. As the price rises, the margin requirements for these short positions become harder to meet, increasing the likelihood of margin calls. While there's no definitive price point for a margin call, continued price increases strain the short sellers' positions, potentially leading to liquidations. There's a strong correlation between the movements of a MC and GME. When one stock experiences a price surge, the other often follows. This is due to the shared resources and algorithms used by short sellers to suppress both stocks. Recent activities, like the significant number of call options for GME, suggest that we might see substantial price movements for both stocks in the near future. Interestingly, there's also a connection between liquidity issues faced by firms and the price of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. When firms struggle with capital, they often turn to assets like Bitcoin to gain liquidity. This was seen with NVIDIA and is now apparent with the rising Bitcoin prices amidst the AMC situation. This correlation highlights the broader financial struggles these firms are facing. To sum up, the reported 1.32 billion volume for MC is likely a glitch resulting from a combination of synthetic shares, hidden volumes, and financial pressures on firms holding overleveraged swap contracts. The ongoing market manipulation and the rising buy side sentiment for a MC indicate a complex and dynamic situation. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about a MC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.